All right, guys, we're gonna just jump right into this one. And um, I'm not gonna be doing any jump cuts or anything in this video. It's gonna be just a straight through tutorial. Um, and we're gonna be doing something new. So this is something that I haven't done very much of and I'm trying to get some practice in so that I can be better at it. All right, we're gonna do an underwater scene with some coral and some jellyfish and stuff like that. Right? So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start with some fluorescent colors for an underbase. So I have fluorescent pink and I have fluorescent green. Also gonna put some seaside in here too. And maybe go back over with a little bit more of the fluorescence. Okay, and then the top part is where we're gonna put our jellyfish. So I'm gonna want some fluorescent pink underneath the base of that so that when I scrape in the jellyfish, it'll be a pink jellyfish. You know, a little, little hair, a little dog hair in there. I got dogs, they leave hairs. It's what happens, no big deal. <laughs> I'm carrying your love with me. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm gonna throw some fire right over the top of it just to dry that up a little bit. Whoa! And if you just notice that just caught on fire, and it's no big deal as long as you catch it quickly and just blow it out, no big deal. All right, now we're gonna use some Brilliant Blue, cover the whole page. Go back with some Deep Blue and hit the bottom part, just a little bit over here. I'm also gonna take some Lagoon and just put a couple of little stripes across it just to make it look like kind of ocean vibes, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? All right, now, I'm gonna take a piece of newspaper, or in this case, a, a Lowe's Foods uh, mailer, whatever, coupons, crumpulate it up, uncrumpulate it, and then we're gonna ball it into a ball like this with multiple creases and, you know, like a bunch of different texture action going on there. We don't want it to be a flat piece, we want it to be all crumpled up. And we're going to dab it on there. Dab. Dab. And just keep rolling your newspaper piece around. Keep getting cleaner spots <laughs> of newspaper. We don't want to keep dabbing the same piece over and over and over again because then you're going to keep putting paint down instead of picking paint up. And the goal here is to be picking the paint up. Now, what you can do, if it's not coming up enough, you can spray some clear coat. And that'll re-wet the paint underneath so that you can start to peel it up a little bit better. Ooh. 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 Be a little bit more, get some of those neons coming through. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm gonna take my scrapulizer, well, whichever scrapulizer kind of thing you want to use, any kind of work, just something with an edge that you can scrape with. And we're going to. Add in some little pieces of coral and whatnot. First thing I wanna do is edge the rocks or the, the edge of the coral reef. Just kinda of scrape that in. Just kinda of shaking my palette knife just ever so slightly just to get some little wiggles and whatnot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take some clear coat. We're gonna take this other scraper and we're gonna put in some little coral shapes and whatnot. So down here, let's do some like little bush coral action. Just looks like this, like a bunch of twigs kinda growing up together like this. Yeah, yeah, sha, kia, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
And it doesn't have to be perfect. Listen, nothing's perfect in this world. No matter how much you fuss over it, it's not gonna be perfect. So just, just roll with it, right? That's not too, too bad right there. So right over here, I wanna do one of those kind of brain looking corals. And it's just squiggles back and forth like this. Anytime it's not wet enough or it's not scraping up enough, just put some more clear coat on there. There we go, and then it'll be workable again. So I just wanna put some little squiggles, kind of group them together, and slowly build that into a spherical looking type deal. And then we can outline that. Cool, fantastic, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then let's do doodly do another kind of little coral deal over here. UPS just got here, so <laughs> pardon me just a moment. I don't know what I ordered. I'm sure I ordered something, right? <laughs> Hello. Okay. You need me to sign for anything? No, no, no. All right, well, you don't have to walk it all the way up here. You know. <laughs> oh, I'm just doing some paintings. I, I, I do uh, instructional paint videos on YouTube and TikTok and... Cool, yeah. Spray paint. I have to, uh, what's your YouTube channel? Casey Van Arsdale. Or Casey does everything. Casey does everything. Yeah. Okay. C-A-S-E-Y. I come up on all platforms if you just type in Casey. Okay, cool, cool. Because there's one that I watch and he does, I love his uh, planning. Did he say Shasha? I don't remember. I don't, I haven't seen the face. I've seen him work. I do a lot of those. Yeah. Hitler, it might be me. It might be me. It might be me. There's one he did the other day and sent a newspaper and they told him to use uh, aluminum foil. Yeah, that's me. Ah, hell. That's me. <laughs> Tenacious D1. I don't know. I just caught that. said, somebody want me to use foil instead of a newspaper. Yeah. I'm like, I'll do the same thing. It's just yeah. that foil won't like rub good. Yeah, it just doesn't grab as much, but it, it works. It looks great, though. Yeah. Thanks, man. Cool. You too, bro. Take it easy, man. All right. You hear the dogs and they're going crazy. <laughs> Uh, keep putting some little scrapes in here. Add some little, some little seagrass action, maybe. <laughs> All right, and what else? What else do we got? What else do we got? Um, some, something like that. I guess I should maybe do some research on what like different coral species look like and whatnot. I mean, I know the brain coral and I know a couple of these like little stick ones, but I think I need to increase my database of things that I know how to make that look like actual things in the ocean. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Uh, we also take some of this fluorescent paint and just kind of lightly go over the parts that we just did just to make them pop a little bit more, right? Hmm, word. Sonny, shush. No one listens to me in this house. <laughs> All right. Now, we want to put some... Sonny, shush. All right, now we want to put some jellyfish down. So I'm gonna take some clear coat and we're gonna spray right here with some clear coat. 
take my scrapulizer, and this is something that I'm not um, super, super confident in yet because I haven't done a whole lot of it, like I said, um, is making jellyfish. So what we want to do is make um, the head, the globe, the, what do you call it, the, the hood of the jellyfish. Kind of make a swoop like that. And then we want to do the back side of it. And then make a little opening like such. That's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, now we're going to, right in the middle right here, just press down. And I'm going to squiggle down like this. Squiggle down. Because they have uh, bigger tentacles near the middle. They got these bigger ones that kind of like... You know what I'm saying? They kind of like just sprawl out in the middle there. Then there's also a lot of like really small tentacles. And that's a little bit sloppy, but you know, you get the idea. Practice makes better. No one's perfect, but the more you practice something, the better you'll get at it. So I'd imagine the, the more of these I do, the more detailed and awesome they will look. Right? Some more clear coat over here. And let's do a little jelly guy right here. He's a little bit more off in the distance. Not quite as close up. But still same thing. He's going to have the, the central center tentacles. And then a lot of really small ones. Okay. Boom, shakakalaka. And maybe we'll have one more over somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, hmm. Maybe one more little guy over here. Yeah, not not terrible. Not the best, not the worst. I'll take it. You see something that you know needs a little bit of a tune-up don't be afraid to go ahead and give it to it right hey yeah uh... <laughs> I don't know why I was scraping there whatever it's fine <laughs> and then that's pretty much that, right? Um, one more thing though, we wanna put, where's my white? White, right here. Get some white spray paint and a straight edge, okay? This is just a painter's straight edge, it's literally what it's called. Um, but let me get another one because this one's a little bit drippy. There we go. And I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, white right here, boom, right at the top. And then from the central point, I'm gonna place my straight edge kind of hovering above and I'm gonna spray the paint right here. And the overspray is gonna make a line, just like this, all right? Always make sure that you recenter the top right where that point is before you spray another line. I just wanna add some little bright sun rays coming through the water, just to give it a little bit more of that feel that we are underwater here, you know what I'm saying? bad not too shabby at all now there's always room for improvement and uh, there's a lot more stuff that as I get more comfortable with this technique and you know doing these different processes I'll add more to you know what I put in these in these underwater paintings but 
I'm just just trying to get a little bit of comfortability and experience with it. So cool. All right, we're gonna dry that up just a little bit. And then cover everything in clear gloss. So this is where it doesn't matter what finish of spray paint you're using, whether it be satin or gloss, at the end of the painting, we cover everything in gloss. So it makes everything the same finish. So it just makes it all just come together as one. And don't forget to signulate your work and date it 23. And that's it. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me during this tutorial and I will be uploading more longer full tutorial videos very soon. I just appreciate you guys' support. Be my friends and learn with me. See so, ya. Yeah. Happy painting. <laughs>